pretty good, huh? <laughs> I'm Jason Abraham, and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Welcome to the ranch. Um, these are some new targets that um, I kind of got the idea from from my 160th pilots, and they um, we call I'm calling them bucket heads. That's what they call them. Mine are not buckets; they're a little different, but same concept. So this is for the helicopter shooting range. Uh, we got 50 targets to put out today, and hopefully we get them all done. You guys, I, we will get some put up and get some tested. Y'all stay hooked. But here's a test target right here that I want to show y'all over here. This is what 556 five, does to the pipe. This is what the nine millimeter does to the pipe. So that'll come in later when I show you when we're shooting them and, and the story will all come together. But I needed to show you that while we're here. I'm waiting on Carlo. Here he comes. So the targets are shot up see the t-post so you shouldn't have t-posts on a shooting range anyways but the t-posts are shot all up and you get some spots like that and all this is all shot up we're getting there we still got some left to go pull no post and it's going good so this is one of the fun runs here i call this my my four bad guys in a draw because it's got one one behind me and then one, two, three, four, right down the road. Oh, yeah, you got. This is what I was talking about when the T-posts were getting wore out. <laughs> Look at that. There ain't much left of the T-post. That was an experiment I did. I thought maybe if I put a post over to protect the T-post. The bullet just went through the pipe. <laughs> oh, that's worth a try. So we're up here on top with the pickup, and I'll take you over and show you the pickup. But we're uh, picking up the brass. So this is kind of a every so often but this is this is probably a month and a half of brass that's cool so how it works is i fly around over here and then i hover over this tub and we dump the brass out of the helicopter we got so we got brass bags on the guns and so we dump the brass i hover over it hardest target to hit i mean everybody misses that target and i'm like hey it's the hardest target to hit. So the zipper on the bottom of your brass bag, unzip it and dump the brass into that bucket. And then we'll go shoot more targets. We come back here before the competition and we hit it again. So I tell them not to shoot my car. I say, y'all shoot the targets, not my car. So then these, these are what you call head plates here. So it's all head plates. This is what I call the gunner in between the car, gunner in back of the truck. And then you got the head plates in the car, in the pickup. I think this thing hadn't been shot a few times. I don't know, the dash is kind of tore up. Okay, so we got uh, the first seven targets put up here and uh, Wade's fixing to shoot them. Wade built all the targets, by the way, so Wade's shooting them. So, all right, Wade, here you go. Let's see if I can hit it. We'll see if Carlos can hit it now. So normally we're gonna be shooting these out of the helicopter, but the idea was we want them really loud and ring. And then we'll go look and see what the see what it did. Let me get behind you, Carlos. Okay. All right, put the red dot, the red dot and the circle on it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a shooter. So I've been shooting five five six and we've had some problems with the five five six, the cans and the guns and and some of the some of the uh 
full metal jacket flying where they shouldn't be going. So we're going down to a, a uh, it's a BT-9, which is a nine millimeter AR. And, and so you're going from, you know, 3,000 feet per, per second to, uh, to um, 1,000 feet per second. And this still is an AR still, so look at it. That's good, why you doing it? I didn't even dent it. Ooh, I got wet paint on me. I got, somebody just painted that. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Oh, I love that. You know, the maintenance, the maintenance on this deal. Oh, I was gonna say you oh man, them cows, <clears throat> where we shoot them other ones up, them cows just come by and itch on them, you know, and just <clears throat> knock them down, so. Yeah, this is what Wade came up with. So we put two and seven inch pipe, and then Wade built that for the deal. And then Wade cut all this and built all these. Slides for the top plate. Yep. Swing. Rings like a bell, just like we want. So this is my, uh, I call it four bad, four bad guys in a draw is what I call it. You always got to dispatch this guy first because you got these other three hiding in the draw. And uh, they sneak up on you fast in the helicopter. Got one there, one there, they went there by the loader. Hey, Wade. All right, we're finishing up, putting 50 brand new targets up. We've got over 100 targets on the road to recoil. If you like the yanking, banking the helicopter and got 600 rounds with you and your buddy, go to rotorecoil.com and get your gift certificate. I know what you're going to say. Cool ain't cheap.